Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Krishan Talks Podcast. The things that I see happening in tech right now is different than what I'm used to. Year after year after year, when I just when 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 I just joined tech, right? Year after year after year, you see the jobs exploding. You see the opportunities coming from left and right. And then now, towards the last four years of my eight years in tech, right? These last four years, it's been completely different. Where you go from really loving a job and you can feel like you can stay at that job for as long as you want to now when you have a full-time job, there's no guarantee that you will still have that job not even a year from now, next month. There's no guarantee that they will keep you. I've read stories of, actually, no, this was on Twitter. And this person posted a, a video on Twitter and in TikTok. And she said how she moved across the country from the West Coast to Chicago. I'm just kidding. In Chicago, it could be New York. But she moved to the city, relocated for that new job to a much more expensive city, a higher cost of living compared to a lower cost of living where she lived. To then, after relocating, just a month later, a month later after relocating, she got laid off. And she asked them, so what's going to happen? Are you guys going to, to to help me relocate back to where I used to live? It was a lot cheaper. I moved across the country for you guys. I moved across, across the country to help this company. And then yet, you guys just threw me away like I'm a pair of slippers, a piece of trash. Despite sacrificing all of that. Tech is not where it used to be. Would I still recommend working in tech? Yes, I would. But I think it's really important to really understand what you're getting yourself into. And that even when you first get that job, that tech job, you don't live above your means. You'll live way below your means and invest. As for, for me right now, on my income, out of my income, I'm only living off 33% of my income after taxes. 33%. Now, I do make a lot. Okay, I make absurdly, absurdly amount of money, not just because of my full-time job, but also because I have clients that I work with. Now, for me, I, the old me, before this crazy tech space where now, I would just spend everything I received, you know, investing in 401k, have six months of savings, and that's it. Now, no, I don't know how long I have my job for. I feel like I might have it for the next two years, but that can change just like that. You really never know. So now I live way below my means. Like I'm living, I'm only living off 33% of my post-tax income and saving the rest, right? Saving the rest. And like I have, I have, um, the goal is not to have just six months worth of savings, but two years worth of savings because the last time I was laid off in tech, it took me close to like 12 months to get a new job. Or was it nine? Maybe it was nine. Yeah, it was nine months to get a new job. But that's a long time. And the reason I was able to survive that was literally because I had YouTube income. It was literally because I had a lot of savings and I paid off literally all my debt except my car, which I'll pay off by next month. But tech is not what it used to be in regards to feeling like you have a safe job. So now, from what I've learned, even though I have a job, Right, that pays me like a full-time job. I make sure to not solely depend on that income. Right, I really make it a goal to get new clients, like side, build a side hustle, which I have, to make sure that I can stay, still take care of my family even after I get laid off from a job. Where now, when I work in my full-time job, I work that job because I like it. I like the extra income. The health insurance is amazing, right? But now, if I get laid off, I'm like, all right, nice. I have these other clients. And so, like, just to give y'all a, a better understanding of my situation, like, right now, like, so my job right now pays me as much as I used to make in my last tech job. My side hustle pays me $300,000 a year. And this is not even including brand deals. Like, I have... uh uh five thousand dollars in brand deals coming in this month but like i don't that's not i'm not even including that i don't even take brand deals i'm just taking this one brand deal and so that's not including youtube this is just from my side hustle and the freedom that i have now uh, the, the the anxiety that i no longer have now because i have multiple sources of income has made my life so much easier like yo my last tech job i remember every day having anxiety knowing that oh my gosh 
if I get laid off, I'm screwed. Like, I have so many bills, hence why I paid off all my credit cards. Because I didn't want to be in that situation, which saved my butt. But I remember if I get laid off, like, I'll be good for maybe a month or two, but that's it. Like, I don't know how I'm going to survive. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But now, I'm working with my clients. And I'm working in my, at my full-time job. And I have no anxiety. Like, if I was going to go, let's say I have my calendar, a meeting with a manager or something, right? And it's a normal one-on-one, -on -one, but then for some reason, HR isn't there. And the first thing I'm going to think is, well, first thing I'm going to think is, okay, it looks like I'm going to get laid off. But the second thing I'm going to think is, does this mean I get severance and I can, like, chill? <laughs> does, this, does this mean I get, like, maybe hopefully two to three months of just severance so I can get that extra 30, 40K in cash, which can just go into my emergency savings? Or can fund me and my wife's vacation in Korea for fun. All right? So that's kind of like the situation I'm in now. And it, it's it's so different. But like, yo, like for everyone who's watching this, who everyone who's working in tech, who's trying to get a job in tech, yes, I think it's really worth it. But you really have to make sure that you you protect yourself. So I and people might be thinking or wondering, like, Chris, like, how do you expect me to work in a side income? I have a friend at church where he works a full-time job as a junior developer, a jQuery, HTML, CSS, the stuff I used to do at my first junior job. And I told him, bro, when you get home, you need to learn React. When you get home, you got to do a little bit of back and maybe learn a little bit of MySQL, right? Just some simple stuff, but move on to something that's more modern because I'll tell you this, your full-time job won't be there forever. Your, your job as a junior developer will not be there forever. You need to make sure you prepare in advance from the future. But then when he told me when he goes home, he's too tired to learn React. He's too tired to learn a different technology to improve his skill set so he can be more in demand for a higher, better paying job in the future. And I understand the idea. I feel you. But in your situation, in his situation, I think he needs to make sure even if he is tired to really make the effort to learn because it'll be even harder for you and you'll be even more tired learning lead coding nonstop if you get laid off trying to find a new job. And, 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 and I think people need to take that into account. It's really important. And so what am I learning? What else am I learning working in tech so far is I think it's very important that you do, when you get that first tech job, you do not be lazy. Don't be the person where you're just chilling right like like you're just get doing enough to keep your job you honestly want to go above and beyond because if you're not and people notice you're not like you're below par or something or just on par then who do you think they'll lay off first when layoffs come right so number one you gotta protect yourself that way number two you need to make sure that you are not just when you're working now when you get that first job you're not working for that current job, you're, you're also working and building your skill set for the second job. You're, work, you're looking towards the next job. You're looking towards, okay, let me look at my situation now. Let me look at my portfolio, my resume right now. What do I look like? And what do I need to look like to make sure I get that next job a couple years down the line? Because I promise you, more than half of you will get laid off from your tech job. I mean, it's normal now in tech. It's Everyone accepts it like it's normal. It sucks, but... It's the world we live in now, in the world of AI, uh, especially in the world of AI, I'd highly suggest you start moving towards the AI. I'd highly suggest that, yo, when I say AI, just try to work, learn how to work with some LLMs, try, try, learn how to do some benchmarks on your own just for fun, right? Build some things just for fun, not to show to the world, just for fun to put in your portfolio, but really for you. And that's when you start to build the most amazing things. So I've done this for myself. I'm working in the AI space. I'm building things in the AI space. Um, I'm getting more familiar with what's going on in that space because it's important for the, my future, right? My side hustle will not always last forever. So I'm always trying to find new clients. I actually had a meeting with a client uh, this week, actually, a couple days ago. And I thought it was going to go well, and they outright just rejected me. They said, no, I don't think this will work out. Uh, hopefully in the future. Right. The meeting was supposed to be 30 minutes long. The meeting was only like 10 to 15 minutes and it rejected me. And it sucks getting rejected and people saying no to you. But what about the other clients, the three other clients I have that said yes to me? <laughs> All right. So anyway, these are things I've been learning in tech. I'm really excited to go back into this podcast format as well. I know it's been in like nine, 10 months, if not close to a year since I last published my, my podcast episode. But I'm back. 
I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to really just do a podcast where I talk about what I learned from week to week and hopefully start bringing some more folks in here that I can interview. Does anyone you have in mind, please let me know. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.